students welcome to my youtube channel km media in this video i am going to discuss about shell and tube heat exchanger how it works and what are the different parts of the shell and tube heat exchanger so let's start this first i will discuss about the basic details and introduction of the shell and tube heat exchanger so what is shell and tube heat exchanger shell and tube heat exchanger is a one type of heat exchanger which is widely used in the process industries for heat transfer purposes shell and tube heat exchanger are most versatile type of heat exchanger which is used in all type of chemical industries why shell and tube heat exchanger is used mostly in industry because shell and tube heat exchanger provides relatively large ratios of heat transfer areas to volume and this heat exchanger used in process industries conventional uh, industries and uh, nuclear power station and uh, steam generators for heat transfer purposes they are used in many alternative energy application including ocean thermal and geothermal applications and they can be easily cleaned so it is normally used in uh, dirty fluid application when uh, when uh, frequent cleaning is required next uh, these are the image of shell and tube heat exchanger what are the different parts of the shell and tube heat exchanger so like the these are the tubes uh, tubes is covered with the shell uh, these are the shell nozzle outlet shell nozzle inlet uh, in uh, this uh, these are the tube side inlet and uh, these are the baffles provide the supports of the tubes so these are the main important part of the shell and tube heat exchanger so let's discuss one by one in uh, details uh, these are the inner design of the shell and tube heat exchanger uh, in shell and tube heat exchanger uh, shell is covered with the tube bundle and tube bundle is a uh, joint uh, inside the tube sheet so these are the pictorial uh, view of the shell and tube uh, heat exchanger inside parts these are the main components of the shell and tube heat exchanger uh, first one is the tube shell tube sheet front head and rear head baffles tie rods and spacers sealing strips and pass partition plate so let's discuss about one by one in detail first one is the tubes uh, so tubes should be able to withstand uh, operating temperature and pressure uh, on both the sides uh, in a shell side and tube side and uh, thermal stress it due to the differential thermal expansion between the shell and tube bundle and uh, corrosive nature of the both the shell side and the tube side fluid and tube pitch ratio is normally between the 1.25 to 1.5 times the outside diameter of the tube and uh, these are the image of the um, tubes how it's uh, look like uh, tube is a one of the important uh, part of the shell and tube heat exchanger one fluid pass inside the tubes and uh, another fluid pass uh, outside uh, of the tube and uh, heat transfer takes place these are the tube layout of the uh, shell and tube heat exchanger uh, there are mainly two types of tube layout is uh, normally used triangular type and square type so both the tube layout have a uh, own advantage and disadvantage so first image shows that uh, how a triangular pitch is looks like and uh, second image uh, it shows that how a square type pitch is look like and uh, these are the uh, another types of uh, tube layout like the 60 degree rotated triangular type pitch and uh, 45 degree rotated square type pitch so let's discuss about the when uh, uh, which condition uh, which type of uh, tube pitch is used so whenever a lower uh, pressure drop uh, required in shell side generally square type uh, pitch is uh, preferable uh, whenever a shell side uh, fluid is fouling uh, so we prefer a square uh, type uh, uh, in a shell side fouling uh, we require frequent cleaning so in square type uh, pitch uh, 
cleaning is easy in a horizontal cell uh, side boiling uh, we prefer square type pitch layout and uh, when smaller cell side is uh, cell size is present uh, fit 15% uh, more tubes if a uh, triangular pitch is used so generally if we use triangular pitch uh, we get a uh, more heat transfer because uh, in triangular pitch uh, we fit uh, more tube inside the shell and uh, when uh, we use a square type uh, pitch arrangement uh, we get a slightly lower heat transfer but uh, we get a uh, cleaning is easy compared to the uh, triangular pitch and the uh, generally pressure drop is lower compared to the triangular pitch uh, so what is the tube pitch so tube pitch is a shorter distance between the two adjacent tubes so in this image uh, shows that uh, how pitch is defined between the two tubes uh, according to the tema specification minimum tube, uh, tube pitch is a 1.25 times the outside diameter of the tubes and the minimum tube pitch uh, leads to the smaller cell diameter for a given number of tubes if we reduce the cell side pressure drop tube pitch may increase to a higher side value so generally the range of the tube pitch is the 1.25 to the 1.5 times the outside diameter of the tubes and uh, according to the shell side pressure drop we may adjust the tube uh, tube pitch according to the requirements next is shell so what is the shell uh, shell is a main important part of the shell into bit exchanger uh, it will uh, uh, cover the inside the tube bundle uh, according to the tema standard uh, shell diameter is up to 60 inch uh, but uh, up to 24 inch shell are normally constructed from the standard uh, and uh, above 24 inch they are rolled from the plates and uh, these are the, according to the stemma standard these are the main types of the shell like the e type shell f type shell g type shell h type shell j type shell and k type shell uh, normally in most of the uh, most of the application e type and f type shell is uh, used and uh, in kettle type reboiler uh, k type shell is used next is baffles so what is the baffles baffles is uh, mainly used to provide the support of the tubes for structural rigidity preventing tube vibration and shaking baffles diverts the flow across the bundle to obtain a higher heat transfer coefficient and uh, these are the um, main important uh, types of the baffles uh, first is the segmental type second orifice type uh, third disc and definite type and uh, fourth uh, road type uh, normally in uh, shell into bit exchanger segmental type baffles is most widely used so let's uh, discuss about one by one uh, types of baffles so this image shows that uh, how uh, segmental type uh, baffles is uh, shown like the uh, this image shows that uh, how a single segmental baffles is uh, looks like uh, and uh, these are the image shows that uh, how double segmental baffles uh, looks like and uh, this uh, image uh, uh, is uh, for uh, orifice type baffles next is a uh, Uh, baffles is uh, mainly classified based on uh, its orientation like the uh, horizontal type uh, baffles and vertical vertical type baffles horizontal type baffles is uh, used for heating and cooling purpose with uh, no phase changes and uh, vertical type baffles is used uh, when uh, shell side condensation takes place according to the requirement uh, uh, different uh, baffle cuts is used like the 15% to 45% uh, of shell inside diameter for single segmental buffel and the buffel cut is used at 25% to 35% of shell inside diameter for double segmental buffel and uh, how uh, this uh, horizontal cut and vertical cut uh, buffel uh, is looked like uh, this image shows that next is this image shows that uh, horizontal single segmental buffels and uh, this is a uh, 
this type of buffers is used when uh, no phase uh, change takes place this image shows that uh, vertical single segmental type buffers and uh, this is uh, mainly used uh, when uh, shell side condensation takes place uh, next is uh, double type uh, sing, uh, segmental uh, transfer buffer and uh, uh, this image shows that uh, how uh, double segmental buffer is uh, looks like uh, next is a uh, definite and uh, disk type buffer and, uh, and this is shows that how it looks like uh, next uh, part uh, of cell tube detection is tube sheet tube sheet uh, is a one of the main important uh, parts of the shell and tube detection engine it is and uh, it is the costlier part of the shell and tube detection engine right. tube sheet is a barrier between the shell side and tube side fluids and uh, mostly uh, it is a uh, circular with uniform pattern uh, of uh, drill holes and uh, tubes are attached to the tube sheet and uh, this image shows that uh, how tubes is uh, welded uh, to tube sheets. Next part is the channel heads. So channels or uh, heads are required for cell and tube exchanger to contain the tube side fluid. And the channel type is uh, selected based on the apl application. Different application we choose the different types of uh, channel. The most commonly used channel type is the bonnet type. It is used for service which do require frequent removal of channel for inspection or cleaning. And another type of channel is removable cover channels are provided when frequent cleaning is required. So these are the TEMA standards front head and the uh, rear type head. In a front head, uh, these are the main types of uh, front head like the uh, a type is a, a removable cover, cover type, uh, B type is a bonnet type and also called integral cover type, uh, D type used uh, for special high pressure purposes and uh, this C, C type and uh, N type. These are the different types of rear head like the L type, M type and N type. These three are fixed tube sheet uh, rear head and uh, this P, S, T, U and uh, W is floating type uh, uh, rear head. Next is ceiling strip. Ceiling strip is generally used to prevent the shell side fluid. Uh, Next is ceiling strip. Ceiling strip is uh, mainly used to prevent the shell side fluid from bypassing the buff bundle. Uh, and uh, ceiling strip block the resulting large open area at top or bottom of the shell and seal road are used to control the leakage stream so thanks for so the watching my video for this Please purpose like ceiling strip comment. is used